Hey you guys, I'm so excited for today's video. Today I will be sharing my new updated skincare routine. And I'm gonna say new and updated, but I really need my first ever skincare routine because I've never really been into skincare, but now I am obsessed. I asked for pretty much only exclusively skincare for Christmas and I got almost everything I wanted and I feel amazing. I've been using all my new products. My skin has been completely transforming and I cannot wait to inspire you guys to also create the perfect skincare routine for your skin. I will start by saying that I have a mix of high-end products and more affordable products, so it is a range. But I also wanna let you guys know, I saw this quote somewhere, and your skin is an investment. So I try to not think of these things as an expense, although I did receive all of these things as gifts for Christmas. So it's always good to ask for, um, like for your birthday or gifts or you know holidays, whatever, to ask for skincare because it is expensive, but it does make a great gift. I really, really believe that investing in your skin is important, just like investing your money. And I'm all about being a savvy young entrepreneur. And I think investing in my skin and putting my best foot forward, looking fresh faced every day is important for me as a person and as my brand. So I try not to think of these things as an expense because you do buy them and they do run out and you have to replace them. And I probably will have to spend some money on that once I run out of all my new products. But I really try to think of that as in a positive way that I'm doing this to look good and feel good and also look good in the future. So without more gabbing away, I'm going to jump in. I actually went ahead and filmed myself putting on my foundation for today and doing my morning skincare routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some clips of that now and then I will go ahead and discuss a few of the other products that I've been using as well. I typically do not wash my face with soap and my Clarisonic in the morning. Um, I go ahead and just take a wet warm washcloth and let my face steam and then I go right into applying products. So I'm applying the Bye Bye Under Cream Eye Cream from It Cosmetics and this is just a sample I've been trying it but I go ahead and apply that first. Next, I'm applying my absolute favorite moisturizer right now. This is It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. And it smells amazing, it feels amazing, it's thick and nice. So I go ahead and I apply this to my entire face. This cream lays great under foundation, so it's fabulous to use as a day cream. Um, I'm also rubbing it down my neck and just getting myself nice and moisturized. I also love applying a balm. This one's one of my favorites by Vaseline. It's the Creme Brulee scent. It smells amazing. I like applying this before putting on my makeup just to keep my lips from getting, um, getting too much foundation on them. I don't always wear primer, but I have been trying out this Professional Pearl Primer, which I like so far. Now that my skin is feeling moisturized and prepped, I'm going to go ahead and go in with foundation. I'm starting with some MAC Fix Plus. I got this little sample at Ulta and I'm really just wetting my face with this because I don't wear a ton of foundation and I want my foundation brush to glide. I'm going right in with my new foundation. It's MAC Face and Body and it's in the shade N1, which is a fairly light shade. It's a very lightweight foundation. It's very moisturizing and it doesn't have a lot of coverage. Um, but it just feels really good on the skin. It sits in well, so I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my Clarisonic makeup brush. Um, and just get that really well blended into the skin. I love using it along the jawline and of course across the hairline. I'm taking a cosmetic CC cream just for a little bit more full coverage. This is the foundation I use most often. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this to spots where I had a little bit more redness and I needed more coverage, my cheeks and my temples, and just taking my Clarisonic again and blending that in. Concealer is a must and I use Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use the neutralizer shade. I love this stuff. I use it under my eyes, a little bit on my chin, and I'm blending it in with my EcoTools Beauty Blender, which I actually really enjoy. And of course, finishing it off with a little bit of powder, CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder in the shade Creamy Natural 110. And I just do this to cut down on some of the shine from all of those glowy products I've been using and to set my concealer in place. 
I finished off the look with some bronzer, some blush, some highlighter, mascara, and some matte lipstick in the shade Modesty. So that is really my morning and daytime routine. Now I'm also going to talk about a few other products that I do sometimes in the morning, but mostly at nighttime. It starts with cleansing my face, makeup remover. This came in this awesome kit, you guys. This kit is incredible. I hope that it's still available. I hope it wasn't just a Christmas special, but this cream alone is $50 and they included also two sample sizes and a mascara all for the same price of just the lotion. So I think that's a great deal. So this is the sample of the Bye Bye Makeup that came in it by It Cosmetics. That whole kit is It Cosmetics. This is amazing. It smells great. It really takes off your makeup. So I start by clearing off all my makeup. One thing I actually did not receive for Christmas that I am going to have to purchase myself, so I would love some recommendations based on um, if you use similar products to me, is a cleanser. So what I've been using, I've been using um, this. This is was just a sample and it's gone. This is the Clinique um, Foaming Sonic uh, Facial Soap. Um, and this works really great with my Clarisonic. Um, I love the way it feels with the Clarisonic. I also use Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser, but I find that one a bit too drying. So I think I'm gonna try something else. Um, and I grabbed a sample of the It Cosmetics Confident in a Cleanser, and I am going to try this out, and I'm going to um, purchase a cleanser here shortly. I then use my Clarisonic brush head instead of the makeup brush. It pops right off, pops on. I go ahead and cleanse my face and use warm water to rinse off the soap. My next step is got to be one of my absolute favorite new products. This is the Pixie Overnight Glow Serum. It's a concentrated exfoliating gel, so it's a chemical exfoliant, and I have never used a product like this. Um, I've always used uh, physical exfoliants, but I just have to say, after using this for, what, a couple of nights since Christmas, it is amazing. It has made my skin texture so incredibly smooth. Here, whoa, highlighter on point. Um, you can kind of see I wish you could feel my skin before and after. I honestly want to even try using this on the back of my arms because um, you know that kind of like like dry, bumpy texture that you kind of get on your arms? I almost had that on my face. You couldn't really see it, but you could feel it. And this stuff is absolutely incredible. It's probably one of my favorite new products and I'm so excited to try out new and more Pixie products, especially their um, like milky spray, um, cause I've heard good things about that. And it's actually kind of affordable for a serum. This is $24 um, and compared to a lot of high end um, department store serums, I would say this is actually a good bargain. After applying that serum, this has been my absolute favorite thing to put on as a night mask. Um, and my sister actually bought this for me. Oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so incredible. I can't even explain to you guys. It smells like a fresh watermelon blended up. And it kind of is this um, like oily feeling at first, but the way it just sinks into your skin and you wake up just feeling really plumped and um, just like refreshed. And I just love this stuff. It is really expensive, but you don't have to use a lot to get the effects. And I would definitely recommend, um, especially during the winter time when I'm getting extra dry skin on my face, amazing. The last thing I do, I either do this um, before applying lipstick or I'll do it at night too, is my Hanalee Lip Scrub. This stuff smells really good. It's really natural. It's kind of a, um, like really fine sugar scrub for your lips, but I just find that it works so well to remove dead skin from my lips. And of course you could make your own and that's what I usually have done in the past, but this just works so well and it's so convenient. And then I use it in conjunction with my Hanley lip treatment and I cannot say enough this good thing treatment. Um, it is pricey, but it's amazing. So I will recommend a second option that I say works just as well. Um, although I really love this stuff, but this is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Creme Brulee scent. I like the Creme Brulee scent because it actually has a really nice vanilla scent. And I put this on before bed. I put it on before doing my makeup. I put this on all the time, especially in the winter, and it keeps my lips feeling great. So both of these really good options for dry winter lips. 
So that is going to conclude my new skincare routine. I have been feeling amazing about my skin and it just really does make a difference when you're diligent, you are consistent with your skin. It makes such a difference in how you feel and how you present yourself. And I couldn't recommend these products more, especially for my skin type. Just a caveat, if you do have oily skin or you have acne prone skin, you might wanna add in a couple other products, but still, Clarisonic is a definite must. Even though it's expensive, I would say, um, Sometimes you can find deals and over the holiday, they had a ton of holiday boxes. I know you can get it on like credit for Clarisonic, but it's so amazing that I would even recommend doing that along with the foundation brush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. I'm not gonna become a beauty blogger or a makeup guru or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you that you can be a normal working girl, even self-employed doing you and still be loving skincare and really treating yourself well. Please let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want to see this um, makeup tutorial because it seriously takes me five minutes and it looks fresh and flawless and I feel great, really natural. I'm really into the whole no makeup makeup look. I hope you all have a fabulous New Year's and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys.